Hello Python programmers. So this is video third of our Ursina Python first person shooter game. And in this video, we'll discuss how to add a 3D model with texture. Okay, now for this video, we'll be adding a 3D wall. It will be a simple brick wall. Let me show you. Let me go to the credits and let me show you that uh, what wall we'll be using. So uh, yeah, this is the credit. This is the link. Uh, let me copy paste this to the browser. And yeah, this is the wall that we'll be using. And uh, as you can see, this is a brick wall. So yeah, this is the original creator of this uh, model you can either get this model from this website i'll provide this link in the description or you can get all the assets used in the project in my github repository okay that link will be also provided in the description so choice is yours and you can also see there are many more 3d options i love this website they have so many options you can choose from both free and paid so yeah after you have downloaded the assets, if you have done through the Sketchify website, you'll get a zip file. Okay. After unzipping it, you will get two folders. First is a source folder and second is a texture folder. Okay. Source folder will have uh, this file, FBX format file and the texture will have this PNG file. Okay. So first of all, let me quickly show you that how I can import this image in your program then we'll properly create the walls on our four sides okay okay so i've written the code let me quickly save and run code so that you can see what output you can expect so it will take a few seconds yep this is the wall yep this is the wall that we'll be creating as you can see it's a proper 3d wall and uh, yeah this is the wall that we'll be creating let me quickly show you and explain it to you the out uh, the code so first of all self dot wall one wall one is the variable name then this is the entity parent is the scene scale is 0 0.02 okay this is a really huge image. So I'm scaling it down to 0 0.02. If you want, you can create a huge wall if you want. Then the position of this specific wall is minus 50, minus 0 0.5 and 0. Okay. The reference point actually is the center of uh, the universe or the center of the game universe. Okay. And the rotation is 0 to 70, 0. Okay. This is to make the wall straight. Then the model is present at this address, as you can see, it's present at uh, this address source. Okay. And uh, when you are copying this address, make sure you're writing two slashes. Okay. Don't add one slash, always add two slashes. Like uh, my program is here. Let me show you. Like my program is here. This is my program. Then, okay, let me minimize it and now let me show you so yeah this is my program under the assets folder under the wall one folder under the source folder this is the file okay then what is the texture under the assets folder under the wall one folder under the textures folder we have this texture file okay then the collider is box and I'm adding this collider so we don't pass through the wall. Okay, so I guess you understood that how you can add a 3D object to your Ursina environment. Now let's properly create walls. Okay, let me first start with the front side wall. So I'm just gonna copy paste the code here. So this is the front wall. Let me save and show you. There you can see. This is the front side of the wall. There you go. 
and this is the edge of our platform okay now let's add the left side walls so let me copy the code again and paste it over here okay this is for the left side let's add the back and right side also just give me a second then i am explaining you that what parameters you have to change for each side yep this is back and this is right okay now look at these parameters very carefully everything is same okay we have created the wall one we are just duplicating this wall one because we don't want to repeat these again and again okay so we'll be duplicating this entity position is okay look here minus 50 0 0.50 and minus 10 okay minus 10 minus 20 minus 30 so this is right to left movement okay this is present at the 0th position we have to move minus 50 to the right and minus 50 to the left okay then these values will be zero as we are doing for the left side okay these values will remain zero then let's go to the left side of the wall minus 50 will remain zero okay this is the left side the left side of the platform now this value will depend on the size of your platform okay this is the size of my platform 100 so if the width of the platform is 100 then from center left side is 50 and right side is 50 so this is minus 50 okay this will remain constant this will also remain constant this value will change because this is from front to back side okay i don't want to confuse you with northeast direction i will complicate things slowly but uh, i don't want to complicate things in the initial stages okay so this was from left to right the values were increasing from left to right now left side is constant we are decreasing um, we are changing the values from front to back okay so these values are changing once again back side wall for the front side wall this was minus 50 for the back side it will be plus 50 and we'll change the values here okay and the rotation is changed so that the wall is facing towards us okay i guess it's called the horizontal movement just like a beyblade or lattu then uh, the right side wall so if the left side was minus 50 right side will be plus 50 and we'll change the values once again okay i have purposefully left uh, one blank as i have planned to create a gate there so that we can go to the next level let me show you real quick yep you can see this is a platform and this is our gate okay i have purposefully left uh, uh, left this side open because I want to add a gate over here for the next level of this game. Okay. And you can see we have surrounded ourselves with this 3D wall. Okay. And this is a thin wall, but it doesn't matter. As we'll be having a gate here. Okay. So, yep. This was it. My intention was to make this very short and to the point video. The main aim here was to show you that how you can download the 3D assets because for me it was very hard to first of all understand the formats and then to find the websites where you can get the textures also. Because yes you can find many websites where you can download the models but the textures don't ask me it was very hard to find but this Sketchify website is very good and this is not a paid promotion. You can download the assets from wherever you want and just follow the process that I've shown you. Okay, so yep, this was a simple video where I have shown you that how you can add 3D object with texture on your Ursina game. Okay, so meet you in my next lecture. Bye-bye.